As a teacher, you can log in to the teacher's console. If you do not have a Math Pentagon teacher login, you must register right here. You can perform a number of operations as a teacher. Firstly, you can build your Math Pentagon student circle. A student circle is nothing but your virtual classroom in Math Pentagon. You can add more students by tapping on the Add Student button. You can edit student information or even delete a student from your circle. You can also create assignments for your students from this console. You can choose to have your assignments created for all your students or students in a specific circle. If you choose to create this assignment only for your students in a specific circle, say Circle 1, you have to make this selection here. You can also choose to create an assignment for specific students in your circle. Now you can choose to create this assignment as a classwork, homework, or a test. Let us try a homework for now. The next step is to choose the curriculum. Let's say you choose Pro Worksheets as the curriculum. You should now choose the subject and the category, after which you get to choose the worksheets for which assignments need to be created. Once the worksheets are chosen, you can choose the due date and create an assignment. You can also create tests for your students using the same screen. If you create a test, you will have to assign a name for the test. Let us say, my first test. The next thing you can choose is whether all the students attempting this test should get the same set of questions or different sets of questions. This is a powerful feature because it lets you test all your students with different sets of questions, but on the same topic and same benchmark. Also remember, if you have to create another test with the same topics for the same set of students, your next test will have different set of questions. This can allow you to conduct multiple tests on the same topic and monitor students' progress over time. Again, select the subject, category, and worksheets, and add them to your test. You can add worksheets from multiple subjects and categories to the same test. To do that, simply select the next subject, category, worksheet, or topic, and add them to the test. Now you get to choose how many questions from each worksheet or topic should be on the test. You can have anywhere between one and five questions from each topic added to the test. In this case, I am choosing three questions from each topic to be on the test. Since I have five topics added to the test, I will have five times three. That is 15 questions in this test. That is all about assignments. You can also review the work done by your students on the assignments, homeworks, and tests created by you. Let us review the assignments for this teacher. Here you see the summary of all the assignments done by your students. You can tap on the graph to see the details and then tap on the review link to know how the student performed in the assignment. If the student had done any scratch work on the screen, you will be able to see that here. You can also view students' reports and get a quick snapshot of the best performing students and trailing students. You can also drill down the details as needed. These are very powerful features that help teachers save time, which otherwise would have taken several hours of a teacher's time. That is all about the teacher's menu. Remember that if you create a basic worksheet assignment, it will be visible to the student under basic worksheets, as you see here. And if you create a pro worksheet or common core worksheet assignment, it will be visible under pro worksheets shelf. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you are now ready to make use of the power of Math Pentagon.